ahead. Are you just trying to slowly scale up into the late game because you've got Ryze and Varus? Uh, at this point for Fnatic, yeah, they've got a lot of potential to siege. The same kind of happens with the kickers. On this Urgot, fairly slow, has Flash available. Of course, the damage done to Mimic has been healed up. Here comes Steel up to the top side. And puts the bush down, trying to get the root caller as well. Kickers flashes away. Steel continues just to harass it. Kickers has no place to go. Mimic gets first blood. Well worked up in the top lane. Steel just making sure he had that skill. You can just go in later for a gank. Pretty. Lands the Dan. petrifying gaze. Dan is low. Still only level five as well. Dan's just dead. Niski runs away. Millennium coming out swinging this. They're nowhere else. Pinoy nearly dies. Yeah, but the curtain call does come down. Daisy on the chase towards Rales. Slowed up. Flashes. The knockup coming in. Just a couple more autos. And Rales oh. is dead. Norskaren takes him down. Even though they knew Fnatic could not deal with Millennium. Will oh! <laughs> That's <laughs> awkward. Oh, Steel's going to really notice awkward. him as well. Oh, oh no. Oh, Niski. Oh, you poor, poor man. That's the <laughs> Obviously, like with Realm Warp, where you are in the circle is where you come oh. out on the other side, and he just mispositioned it. That's really um, awkward. Uh, I wonder whether he did it in minimap or just off the edge of the screen. Oh, as Dan comes in. Pretty oh, this time. Gaze will land. Fangs come down once again. Dan does get taken out by the burn. Pretty with a perfect gaze. Kickis comes in though. There's the position reverse. The chains misses. Nor scaring off towards the side. Kly is low. Pinoy jumps forward. Gets the kill. Karma down. Kickis the new target for Millennium. He's gone. Mr. Rales is gone back to the fountain as well. The curtain call comes down as Niski tries to round warp out once again. I'm sure he positioned that one well and does escape. However, Millennium now 8-0 up will take mid lane tower. Millennium in a commanding position against Fnatic Academy and Fnatic Academy just look like they're on so many... They're now trying to make a play on the bottom side. There's so much vision control in this bot side river that... Oh, they're going to go. onto Pinoy. Mr. Rales low though. Whimsy. Here comes Dan. Kicks Pinoy back, but he's straight into Mr. Rales' face and Pinoy just snipes him down. Dan unable to get this gin. He is jinxed in this bottom lane. He can't get a kill for love nor money and Norskaren has two and Pretty cleans it up. And the Millennium Roam plays off again. It pays dividends. For Third don't connect. The fourth does. Norskaren here. He's bloodthirsty Lulu and Dan really has no escape from this. He is gonna <laughs> die unless he makes one of the most amazing escapes I have ever seen in my life. Norskaren takes him down. Easy peasy lemon but squeezy. This whole passage of play though has been just slow out of Millennium. They could have recalled and bought. Uh, if you look at the amount of gold on them, uh, Pretty has nearly 2,000 gold. Uh, at this point, Mimic roughly has 2,000 gold as well. Now they're going to try the Baron as well. Okay, it's about 1,000. Yeah, Dan's dead. Dan's dead, so, so this is a pretty easy yeah, Baron it, for them to go for. It's an easy Baron now that Dan has died, but Millennium have been stood around Baron for the last two minutes. And they could have gone back, bought, got wards, got extra vision control, and just pushed. Hyperkinetic position reverser does knock him back. Kick is low. Mimic still tanking the tower. Tries to get the healing. Flash Ooh. escapes Mimic with the outplay. And Mimic. now mid lane inheritor tower is going to go down as well. Millennium just continue to push their advantage. Yeah, and it's absolutely their prerogative now. Mimic just gets the outplay. Bot side 3 0 to Kick is 0 3. Inhibs going down. They can swing bot side if they want to now with this Baron buff very easily. And Pretty's doing the same thing top. He's pushing in for another tower. This is catastrophic out of Fnatic Academy. This team has completely fallen apart over the last week. They just look battered and bruised right now. Millennium dive in once again. They take the turret. Dan low has to jump away. 13 kills to naught. Millennium are destroying Fnatic Academy and they're taking down this second inhibitor of the push. Casio's in the top lane. That's where Millennium are going next. Yeah, that's the next objective. I mean, it's so difficult now to stop this. 4-0 Cassiopeia, 3-0 on Jin. Everybody is so much further ahead for Millennium. Oh, Dan's gonna try. Dan goes deep, does get the kick onto Benoit, but it was incredibly delayed. Millennium will take Are Dan they gonna Dan. do it? Is it gonna be a perfect game at this rate? It looks like it in all honesty. Third inhibitor's gonna go down. It might be a perfect game with all objectives destroyed as well, which is something we don't always see. Millennium gonna continue to push. Nexus Tower is their next objective. Daisy starting off work on towards them. Niski gets onto Pretty. Petrifying Gaze doesn't quite connect. And Millennium will retreat for the moment. However, Kick is now knocked up. Pretty still standing as that front line. Mimic just taking down towers by himself. He doesn't need oh, the rest of the team. Kick, Kick is. is caught out. Here comes the curtain call. One shot, two shot misses. Not quite gonna connect, but the Nexus Tower will fall. Millennium just need the Nexus. They're gonna perfect they're done, game. They've done it. Fnatic Academy. Wow.
Fnatic Academy just got perfect gamed. Millennium just dealt that out to Aokai. You've got good engaged setups, at least, if you can uh, catch people out with uh, Petrify and Gaze to start things off. You bring the Maokai in early game yeah. because of how safe everyone can be. It is. Mimic, he's still fairly safe despite three people around him. He just clears the wave off. Alt is not cool. available. Yeah, Cutting Cool comes down. Mimic kick back. Actually, almost out of the call, but Rales will get the kill. Dan manages to get a gank in the bottom lane. So, I was... The fight kind of just ends already. It's the same combo, it's the same heal, it's the same Pinoy walking away. Kickers is going to try and come in from the side and actually does have to flash. Here comes Mimic. Coming in as Mimic gets on towards Cly. That is a dead Karma Millennium. Turn Fnatic's engage on them and get the kill. And it's so difficult, like Fnatic threw so much of Curtain Call either. So some of these big team fighting tools, Dan, can he oh, go in there? Dan oh, Dan tries to steal it away, doesn't get it. Shockwave on steel, he manages to survive. Norskaren's still alive as well, Dan gets the kill. Now here comes Kickers and the rest of Fnatic Academy. Pretty with a good petrifying gaze, but he needs to escape. Pinoy is locked in the pit, but Fnatic just runs straight past him, trying to get onto Pretty. Pinoy will take down one, flashes over the wall, and this oh. is the Millennium Show. This is the Pinoy Show. It's a triple for him. Cly, the next target. Can he, he get it? Shot, gets the Quadra. He's oh. going for the Penta. Mr. Rales gets taken out, and Pinoy gets the Penta. Penta kill in the world to finish that Penta kill. And they're going to crack the first inhibitor tower. And that is the beginning of the end for Vanessa Academy. Looking clean and crisp. Pinoy, however, caught out now. Does get locked up. Here's Dan. Kick steel in. Pinoy gets shockwave. Fnatic trying to turn this one around. Norskaren has to flash away. Steel jumps away as well. Mimic, however, is a frontline threat, as is Pretty. Dan will get a double, but he's going to fall as well. Millennium picking up three kills, chasing away Kickis, chasing away Mr. Rales. And look, try and defend. There are only 10 seconds up before Kwai is respawning. So it looks like Millennium will just go for the inhibitor first and then retreat. But Fnatic Academy, it's that mid game, that the early to mid, where they just did nothing, or at least it felt like they were doing nothing, allowed pretty to get really fast play and crisp play. But honestly, Millennium have done a good enough job at punishing where Fnatic have gone wrong on things that they deserve the 2 0. Well, the curtain call comes down. Fnatic trying to stop this 2-0 from happening, but just harass onto Pinoy. He's, he is down to, you know, minimal HP. Oh, wait, there's a redemption. He's back up above Inhibitor Tower, and Millennium just slowly chipping away. So they don't even need to step forward. Just wait. They can get it eventually. One more wave will be enough. Mimic still in the top lane, taking down the Inhibitor slowly. And Tower falls, and now Millennium step an ever so slight bit closer towards that Nexus. Oh, it's the inhibitor in front of them is going down slowly. Third inhibitor of the game. Pretty steps forward, dodges out though. Fnatic Academy, there's no way for them to stop this happening. It's the slow demise of the game for them. And Millennium just patient in this game, understanding exactly what they needed to do. Pinoy caught out, the equalizer comes down, but it's not quite in the right position. Last inhibitor falls, Millennium looking for the final push, they're looking for the jugular, and they're looking for the Nexus turrets. The first will fall to steel. The second Mimic steps forward, he's gonna take that one down as well. Now it's the Nexus, and Fnatic just cannot answer the push of Millennium. The Nexus goes down, and Millennium 2-0, Fnatic Academy. That was not what people were anticipating coming into the day, but Millennium looking great in that series. Like, actually,